So what is a good way to start leveling up a unit late game that you haven't used for a while that is basically under leveled from early game? So this is a gimmick that anyone can use. Um, so either you need to get stabs on the unit by promoting it into a class that can use stabs, or you can equip Makaya, who enables staff use. So unit can use up to level C. So you can throw Makaya on any unit and then have them start using stabs like Obstruct and Heal, and both of which will gain XP. The nice thing about Obstruct is you can use it on dead turns. So like right now, I'm just going to turtle and let these enemies come to me. I'm going to feed Celine a, lot, a bunch of kills to level her up. And I just had her use Obstruct. She just got some free XP. You can also dance that unit and have them do like a double Obstruct. So in this case, what you want to do to level these units up is one, get them on stabs to heal, uh, to restore. You can, if you have a ton of money, you can use like warp. That's very expensive, but that's one way to do it. There's other broken strategies to power level units. Um, using Great Sacrifice, for example, on uh, Makaya, if you have a bunch of units with lost health, can be a good way to level them up quickly. So that's a thing people have discovered where you just let a unit who won't die get hit by a thing, like just let a bunch of units tank some hits and then just keep you know, building up engage, then popping it. Uh, but feeding kills to the unit is the number one way to get it to level up. Now obviously this is going to be difficult because she does very little damage. She's effectively level 13 from a base class. Like so this is, I'm in the end game right now. Like I'm, I'm at the end game, I'm in chapter 24 out of 26. So she's going to need fed. So we need to set up these kills and serve them to her on a silver platter. Because otherwise, she's not going to kill anything. <laughs> so, all right, so the easiest thing to do would be just to try to get them to like 10 to 20%. So we'll just kind of hit this. Hopefully we don't crit. Now this is an endgame guide. Like this is like assuming you're in the exact same position I'm in, where it's like, how do you level up this unit that's underleveled? So there might be some spoilers. <laughs> I know some people are really particular about spoilers. Uh, me personally, like if something's spoiled, it doesn't affect me because I don't care about stories as much, but I'll try to avoid spoilers if I can. All right, you can just chill out there. She can probably kill this now. All right, let's see. Let's try Elfire. All right, let's try... All right, and that breaks. Oh, it's Love and Sword, that's why. All right, so let's do... Let's try this. No, she has to not die, but she has pulses, so it's fine. There we go, we hit. She got a good amount of XP. Then we can Dance her and set up another kill. So Dancer helps level up a unit as well, so that's very useful to set up kills for these babies, these baby units. And then Dance them back. Let's park you, I guess, here. Some of these are kind of a threat. This could roll a random crit on me. I'm going to use a, a broken gimmick in a turn, though. Pretty easily. Tis I. I. Alright, you're going to attack this. We're going to set up another kill. Now, you want low crit rates, because high crit rates means that when you go to set up a kill, you might accidentally kill the thing. Alright, now we can dance her. So I'm trying to power level this this unit to, to be my level, essentially. All right, he can go, I guess, here. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do. All right, and then she can kill this. So she just got a level up. Pretty huge. She desperately needs it. So she got magic and speed, which is pretty much all she wants. She's like a magic-based unit. All right, this guy's going to try to stab us, but he's not fast enough to do anything serious, nor is he strong enough. Uh, you can always save, like, mid-level paralogs. That's actually what I did. I just tried to bulldoze my way through the story missions. You can save mid-level paralogs for the end game, so that when all of your units are, like, end game units, you go back to a mid-level paralog, and it's easy. And then it's easy to set up these kills and control the map. Otherwise, you might find that you're getting overwhelmed by enemy density or you're like thinking too much and analyzing position too much and there's too many threats to safely break down the map. All right, so what we'll do here, kill man. I'm gonna tank these, so I'm gonna create a little situation for myself. 
All right, so surprisingly, none of these are very fast. I'm actually not used to these low speeds, so we're gonna go here. Oh wait, that's the wrong tile. Sorry. Go there. All right, then we use Makaya. Makaya is one, or I'm sorry, Makaya, Lucina. Lucina is one of the craziest emblems because she allows your entire team to tank, essentially. I'll do my best. All right, and then we want to continue setting up kills, ideally. Uh, okay, so she can tank these. She just has to not be able to get hit by both. Which she can pretty much everywhere, so she'll go here. Okay, and then we'll wait. So I fed the unit two kills. Which she's, you know, at least she's a mage, so, so she can actually deal damage and hit things accurately. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't see that. Alright, that'll happen. Yeah. I didn't realize there was an archer there. I thought the archers were on the right side. That's avoidable though. That's very funny. Okay, let me go back. That'll still happen. Hortensia is very one-shottable. She's like the most one-shottable unit in the game. All right, so she, all she has to do is just go up here, which is funny. Okay. And then I believe you attacked. Yep. So we still feed her the kill. And we can body block this as, as well. We dance. Yeah, they'll get you sometimes. They'll, that'll happen. I didn't see the archer. I just didn't physically see it, <laughs> to be honest. It was like I was like here, and I just didn't notice that there was an archer there. I thought there were just two archers here. Uh, but now that I know that, we'll usually tank it. It's fine. So I already kill this now. Yeah, it can be, it can be um, a real challenge to feed a unit levels when you're on a paralog that's like similar level to you because the enemies will actually pose a threat. So I can probably start whacking things, I guess. Let me check these speeds. All right, they're all very slow, which is how it should be. Archers should be slow. But late game, they get fast. <laughs> they get very, very fast. They get so fast, it's disgusting. And they get tanky, so... Late game maddening archers are absolutely gross enemy types. Same thing with like the sword units, you'd think they're not that crazy as well, but... She could have one-rounded this anyways, but whatever. We'll thin their numbers. Then we'll tank this, ideally. Let's equip a dodgy sword, if we have any. Nope, just that. So bonded shield. Uh, Alright, I can canter three. So I might as well kill one of these or damage it, maybe. I'd break it. If you break it, you buy it. So that's what they told that's what they told me. <laughs> that's what they told me. <laughs> Alright, I'm just I'm just messing with you. Alright. Alright, you go here, you go here, and we continue to tank. And we have to set up these kills for this little baby. So you have to feed the baby. Alright, this time we dodge. Alright, you attack me, fine. Suicidally, that's fine. You want to feed them as many kills as humanly possible, which can be difficult to do if they all suicidally attack your best unit, which is my fault for putting her there. <laughs> okay, they're continuing to suicidally attack my best unit. Who's invincible from Lucina's bonded shield? What are you going to do? You know, you make a few shields. You make a few bonded shields and suddenly you kill the entire enemy team. All right, there's still quite a lot of enemies, though, so... If you can get the right paralog, you can power level a unit. And this is the goal of this video, is to power level baby. This is baby, you can see here. This is baby, baby unit. Needs fed. All right, this is bow, bow and arrow grandma. She shoots with a bow and she's a grandma. That is her purpose. All right, let's get some PK thunder in on this. Oh, that's right, I turned combat animations off, so I can't time it. Alright, I'll just do it that way. <laughs> if, if you watch my other videos, the the chapter runs, I use those sound effects all the time, so... 
if you're wondering why a disembodied nest voice just manifested itself. All right, kill this. All right, so this is a risk. So I have to hit an 80 and then I have to hit a 76 for this to work. Yeah. <laughs> and you're dead. All right, let's... This is why we have pulses, though. It's good. There's going to be some painful moments. I'll, I'll say that. All right, maybe you got something else. Maybe you have something more accurate. That's not much better. <laughs> it's not... It's going to be hard. Maybe you can punch. I don't want to punch the dancer, but... A lot of these are going to last hit this. That's kind of the problem. It can be difficult to set up those, like, exact kills... Another thing you can do to manipulate RNG is to attack with a different unit. She got a crit. Yeah, look how much XP she got. She got me nothing. All right, now we'll go for the attack. This guy does have a spear, so it doesn't matter what range. Actually, maybe it does. Hold on, let's, let's set up... Let's do this the old-fashioned way, where we set up linked attacks. This is the three houses method. All right, maybe I can increase my accuracy. I can, all right, cool. I like 91 better. All right. We got it. And she leveled up. All right, this is still just her getting level two. She got it before, but someone died, so that's unfortunate. Okay, another thing you can do if you have Byleth equipped, you get bonus XP. So you should try to make use of that. I'm just trying to break out of this opening position and then I'm going to start like setting up individual pulls on these enemies. I can dance her too. And we'll try to set up that thing. One of these nearby enemies. Whatever she can reach. Alright, she can reach this. I have to be mindful of this though. Because that'll just stab her once and she'll be very dead. Uh, so what we can do... Probably kill this. Use a hard carry just to get rid of some stuff. This is the complete babying your units guide. To baby those little baby units. All right, she can go here. All right, she's gonna pop Sigurd. Just to kill this archer, ideally. Or to almost kill this archer. <laughs> <laughs> Brionic, plus one. All right. Okay, that's a free kill too. And she's body blocking that spear, which will not be able to hit her for very hard. Very much damage. Hit her for very hard. Alright, so we can set up this guy. She can't make it to the archer. So we use a tomahawk. We get a break. We're making him take a break. It's very standard stuff here. Alright, can you kill this? Almost. Alright, we need a little bit more damage. Let's see, I don't think you double, do you? No. We make it a proc, though. We got a dual assist proc. <laughs> yeah, sometimes your units <laughs> do things you don't want them to, like killing the enemy. I'm trying to feed, like they can really get in the way. I guess on equipped dual assist. Or maybe, I'm gonna move her out of the way so I can't have him. And then we're fine. Yeah, she's just... <laughs> Better. No, you <laughs> This is gonna happen. Stop. It, it can be difficult to feed enemies or to feed your units. It can, it can be very difficult, to be honest. Um, who has thunder? We can trade. Yeah, we can do. Hold on, what can, where can you get to? Do you thunder from here? One, two, three. No, you have to be like here. You have to be like here to thunder here I don't know if I can trade thunder fast enough to like get that in there you know what I'm saying and we can tank this I guess we just let this in just kill this it can be difficult with crits and with all these mechanics to set up these kills but it can, it can be worth it all right you get in here All right, he missed. Great. <laughs> we have to... You can always do a double. You can always dance, too, so you can attack twice. So get it to, like, half. Oh, they have thieves in this one. Interesting. Where did the thieves escape to? Here? 
Do they escape here? I bet they do. Huh, that's cool. Alright, so... You get the idea, though. You have to feed your babies. And if you don't feed your babies, you're a bad parent. <laughs> you're a bad parent. So make sure to feed them. And you can always use stone or stones. Stabs. Set up kills for them. Let's see what we can do here. Just want to get her to get one more level up. Alright, he hits a 30. She can definitely hit... Or now she can hit an 11. Alright, she can one-shot that. Alright, that seems pretty ideal. There we go. So she's almost to level 3 already. That helps. Uh, Alright. Then we'll dance. And I kind of want to get those items, so I'm going to like go a little ham here. Alright, you might dodge this. If you can't... I can last hit with Sigurd, I believe. Or maybe I should open with Sigurd. Yeah, we should open with Sigurd. She's kind of dodgy. She might even just not get hit. Yeah, 30%. Nice. Yeah, then we set it up. I don't care what that's at, what that is when I aggro it. Alright, so we aggro that. I want to get those thieves, so we're going to do that. Then she just comes in and kills this one. Those are my hard carries, if you're wondering why they're so insane. That is the reason. And then we have to set this up. She can hit a 7. So you have to like consciously think about how you're going to set these kills up using your different units. And then I think that's a melee guy, right? Yeah, so we just have to hit. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be using pulses, we'll say that. All right, we're going to do another combat if I can. Uh, I don't know who. You have to do another combat to re-roll the RNG. Let's see, do you have a more accurate weapon, maybe? Maybe Levin Sword? Let's just go through all the different hit rates. Alright, so the highest is 87, which is very high. Uh, maybe I get bonus from just, like, doing this. Let's just support with me. C supports. We'll try it. 92. I don't think it's happening. Actually, hold on, if you, what do you hit? Do you one-shot her? Nine defense, 43 attack. That's lethal damage. That's exactly lethal damage. Um, Yeah, that's gonna happen. All right, you, I guess just one, someone will just kill it. Very unfortunate, but this happens. Like you can't really do, well, I guess I could bonded shield. All right, let's see if she tanks. 80% chance for her to not get hit. <laughs> But it might go after Bo Grandma over there. We'll have to see. Bo Grandma. All right, what do you got for me? You going after me? Oh, because of the break. Oh, okay. I'll take it. That works out, actually. Okay, he's in. I'm about to steal my loot. My epic loot. All right, hit this time. All right, good. There we go. Level three. Strength, health, and res, that's okay. Strength is really useless on her. Like she wants these magic weapons, so she really wants magic. But you get the idea. You can level up these here units doing babying. I kind of wanted to show it because if I just tell you how to do it, or if I just tell you about it, like, this isn't one of those things where it's obvious how to do it, and it can be difficult and time-consuming to set up. 
and it's hard to do if it's on a map where you legitimately need every single one of your units. So you kind of want a situation where the odds are in your favor already by just being over leveled and going and visiting older paralogs that are that appear like mid game. And then from there, that's that's the opportunity because then you can kind of goof around and make mistakes, you know, and you're not going to be punished. You won't immediately lose a unit for making a single mistake. And like a lot of your units can start one rounding things, like taking up space, as you can see here. We're just like one rounding, getting speed stacks. Uh, she might as well just chill out because this will attack her and she'll kill it. She's actually quite tanky. So, oh, these are weak. These are 11 swords. You're getting messed up, dude. I'm going to kill this guy. And then we want to still allow some to approach us so that we can feed the baby. So far, she's gotten two level ups, which is decent. And then I want to kill these thieves. And I don't want to mess with this formation. I don't think this aggroes until I attack it. So I'm just going to avoid that. But if you can stagger the map, if you can isolate kills, if you can use dancing, you can do all these things to start feeding the baby. And you can see she's very happy. <laughs> she's getting properly nourished. She's already gotten two level ups. She's turning into a good unit very slowly. And I can probably feed her enough to get her to like level six to seven, which is something. And then if I do this a second time on a different paralog, I can probably get her to like level 10, which is actually legit. Then she'll be like virtually level 23. She'll have some health stat. She'll have better magic, which is already pretty high actually. Um, I mean, it's compared to like what level she is. This Ivy is essentially level 41. <laughs> and this unit is basically level, I don't know, 16, so keep that in mind but yeah i just wanted to demo this but yeah thank, definitely like and subscribe if you found this useful this is definitely something you can do at any stage of the game so you can save like one of the very very early paralogs and then take like anna there for example so like don't do the gene paralog you know the one with the farm save that one get anna then take her to that one you can start to level her up there so that's like an example uh but yeah that's it for this one definitely like and subscribe feel free to drop a comment. Um, also feel free to comment on how you set up XP farms because that's something that people are still testing and discovering. So I'm curious about that and peace.